Not everyone enjoys fish, especially from the inside. But the prophet Jonah is famed for being the man that a fish could not stomach. A grossly misunderstood story if there ever was one, with a whale of a lesson for contemporary life. The Assyrian Empire was the terror of the ancients, spreading out from Mesopotamia in every direction and swallowing nations in its path. Conquered peoples were deported en masse and scattered permanently into distant lands. History had proven, though, that as long as the Jews maintained moral integrity, their security was assured. But Israel had been divided into two kingdoms since 797 BCE, and its northern kingdom had lurched headlong into unbridled depravity and idolatry. Assyria was the natural choice for God's instrument of retribution. In the 6th century BCE, the prophet Jonah watched in horror as King Shalmaneser arose from his mighty capital of Nineveh. The pagan easily swallowed the Jewish tribes living in the Transjordan and dispersed them in an exile from which they would never return. He then laid siege to the Israelite heartland of Samaria, banishing two more tribes, while the five remaining tribes trembled in fear. Just then, the Assyrian nation ran into a spiritual crisis. The Assyrian culture of depravity had reached the limit. If they passed the point of no return, God would deliver Assyria a disastrous fate similar to Sodom, and God's instrument of retribution against the Jews would fail. To Jonah's dismay, God ordered him to inspire the enemy nation into repentance so that its downfall would be delayed leaving it free to advance its brutal mission of forcing the ten tribes of northern Israel to be forever lost in exile. What would you do if you were Jonah? Well, let's take a closer look at the rest of the story.